everyone, Complex back with another video and today I wanted to talk to you about a Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition. It is coming out at the end of August, which means my console player friends, you finally get to play DOS 2 and I am so excited for you. And those of us on the PC, we do have access to the Definitive Edition and if you already own DOS 2. I do believe we get a copy of the Definitive Edition for free and all of the lovely perks and bonuses that come with it. And as a note, the Definitive Edition will, I believe, be an entirely separate uh, download, very similar to um, like Skyrim Special Edition versus just owning Skyrim. So then that way, if you prefer the current version of DOS 2, you can continue to play that. But if you want to play the definitive edition, it's there for you as well. So today, I thought we'd kind of go over what you can expect from the definitive edition as far as changes and, and stuff like that goes from the a base game. And I gotta say before we start, DOS 2 for me personally was a <laughs> huge change in the kind of games that I play. I had never played a CRPG before. I had never played any kind of turn-based combat, unless you count DAO, and, and that's not quite the same thing as this. Um, and I just, I found this game enchanting. I loved the world. I loved the characters. I even loved the combat, so much so that when I was playing, I was looking up builds and trying to min-max everything and really, really got into it. And the story is so engaging. And let's not even get into the music. The music for this game is incredible. It's so good. And there is so much customization. And there are so many choices and things that matter. And I just, top to bottom, this was such a surprise for me for last year. And I really needed a game like this last year uh, when it came out. Because I really had no RPGs to play. And when I started playing, I was like, wow. Yep. Yeah. This game is incredible. So if you're on the rocks about playing this game, I would say seriously, pick up a copy. You're not going to regret it, especially if you are a PC player. You can get, I believe the regular DOS 2 is currently on sale on Steam right now. So you can pick yourself up a copy and give it a try. And if you're a little wishy-washy on whether or not you want the Definitive Edition, good news. When the Definitive Edition comes out at the end of August, I will be playing it on stream. So we can play together, and then you can decide if you want to own your own copy. And before we hop into what you can expect from the Definitive Edition versus the current version of DOS 2, I did want to take a minute to mention if uh, you've never played the game before, when you're designing your character, you have two options. You can either design your own character, um, or you can use one of their origin story characters. And like the character you're seeing on screen, Losa, she is an origin story character. She was created by Larian Studios. She has her own backstory and it's utterly incredible and fascinating. Um, and if you decide that you'd like to play as an origin character, but you don't necessarily play as like Losa, you can take potentially these origin story characters along with you as companions. Um, so you can experience them either from the perspective of playing as them or uh, as them uh, or as them as a companion, which I think is really interesting and lends to a lot of uh, replayability. The first time I played, I played as Sabeel, and I loved her story. But now, the next playthrough, when we do the definitive edition together, I'm going to play as Losa, and I'm going to take Sabeel with me because I want to see what her story is like from the perspective of somebody else. And I really like that we have that option, and we can really see how a character grows in a variety of ways, and we can change how their story goes depending on whether or not we're playing as them or we're playing with them as a companion. So uh, that is there, and if you are new to the game, on the blog I did a little while ago a top three tips for DOS 2, and I will link that in the description below in case you just wanted to read a little bit about starting out and my tips for that. Um, but yeah, let's get into this. So we talked about starting out as a origin character versus your own character. And within that, they've added a story mode to the game. So if you're somebody that is brand new to CRPGs, you don't necessarily like top-down games, you're a little intimidated by the combat potentially, you do have the option to play in story mode, which is going to be very similar to... Um, like MEA had a story mode, The Witcher 3 had a story mode, that kind of thing, which is super exciting. Um... 
it's going to be a lot more casual. The combat will be a lot easier. So you can really focus on narrative and just the world, which I think is incredible. And you can switch between story mode and the other two um, easier modes, which is classic and explorer. There is a tactician mode, but you cannot switch between the other modes and tactician. Once you start tactician, you're locked into tactician. So keep that in mind. Tactician is, is very difficult. <laughs> Um, I don't necessarily recommend it if you're new to these top-down CRPG games, unless you like a challenge. Uh, I don't like that much of a challenge, so you will not find me uh, doing that kind of thing on stream or ever, uh, unless, you know, uh, maybe you guys talk me into it. Please don't talk me into it. That would be, that would make everybody cry. <laughs> uh, moving on from the new story mode that's being added as far as fights go. Uh the game itself is divided into multiple acts, which I really like because each area is unique to itself. Like each act um, definitely feels like a unique part of the story, which I've always appreciated. But kind of act two and beyond, uh, they have adjusted the XP and gold curve. It's been rebalanced, which I'm really excited to see how that goes. Um, whether or not we feel more rewarded or less rewarded, I'm guessing we're going to feel a lot more rewarded, which means we're probably going to want to do even more of a completionist playthrough than I was already planning on, uh, which I really like. Uh, and then they've also rebalanced the armor as a um, response to having to rebalance the, uh, the XP curve and the gold curve. And then adding even more into the combat, and they've actually rebalanced some of the fights, like they've literally gone in and revamped them. Uh, which I'm excited about. I think that that's really cool. And I'm excited to be like, oh, this fight changed this way and this fight changed that way, which I'm hopefully going to remember all the fights that have changed. It is a small handful, but I'm excited to see how that um, those fights changed. And then they've gone ahead and added in some new fights. There are a couple of parts in the game where like I've walked into certain areas and been like, oh, girl, why is there no fight? Why can't I fight anything here? Uh, and, and they've taken some of those areas and fixed that so we can fight them <laughs> or things and i'm just like woohoo and i'm not going to tell you necessarily where or when these fights are going to happen if you are curious as to exactly what has been added and or changed as far as the pre-existing fights or new fights that they're adding in goes uh larian studios did do an entire kickstarter update video on youtube in regards to what we can expect from the definitive edition that will absolutely be linked down below and you can take a peek there and learn more about that there speaking of fights and story modes and rebalancing and all that jazz the tutorial has been expanded and now that's something that i'm particularly interested to play through i like the idea that it has been expanded because the original tutorial was really well done and well written but it felt like as somebody new to crpgs i was getting a lot of information really really quickly um i wasn't used to the mechanics in the game or anything like that and i felt like oh okay we're done now i'm gonna have to go try to do all this together like kind of thing um so now the tutorial has been expanded and you're gonna get everything in more manageable bite-sized chunks which i am super happy about um so all the mechanics within the game should be explained better and you should have ample practice with them before they kind of thrust you out into act one and speaking of characters actors and all that good stuff the rumors are true they have added new voice work to the game so not only are we getting revamped fights rebalanced combat xp and gold a more expansive tutorial and a story mode added in, we've also got new voice work. I mean, come on, can we just take a minute to appreciate how much work is going into this definitive edition? Ah, oh, it's gonna be incredible. I am so ready. Is it the end of August yet? Please, dear God, please tell me it's almost the end of August. Um... But with this new voice work, one of the reasons that they wanted to do this is because they wanted to expand on the character motivations. They wanted you to understand what your character motivation was, the characters that you surrounded yourself with motivation was. And they also wanted to give you a little bit more clear cut on who's the bad guy and, and this and that. And as somebody who played the first game, I'm really excited to see how that changes the tone, especially for the beginning of the game. And if I love or hate uh, particular characters just a little bit more than what I did earlier. And Beast, who is available as a playable character 
or a companion. They didn't necessarily feel that his story in Act 3 was what it could be. So uh, they have gone ahead and revamped some of that to kind of polish him up a bit. And I never had Beast as a companion. So I am awfully excited to see how that story goes. And if you watch while we play live and you've already had Beast as a companion, I'm going to be super, super interested to hear what your opinion is on how this has changed. And I'm also excited to hear like reviews and stuff like that down the road. And the other thing that they've done is they've kind of revamped the end game story. It has been quote unquote largely rewritten and it includes the epilogue. What they wanted to do was make sure that your choices were more reactive. They wanted your choices to matter more. They wanted you to have, um, and to feel like everything that you've done and accomplished or done and not done, if you will, uh, matters to the end of the story. And that includes within the epilogue. So I'm really excited to see how that's going to affect the rest of the story. Uh, there is a lot to this game. There are a lot of choices. There's a lot of freedom. It's an it's an RPG to the core. And if all of this sounds as good as it sounds, it's going to lend to so much more replayability than already exists. And there's already like a gazillion reasons to replay this game. So... I'm excited to see how this changes the epilogue. I'm also excited to see if um, some of this that's been rewritten, uh, if it affects romance choices. Because there, if you don't know, there are romance options within the game. Uh, something that I was actually, one of the main reasons I actually started uh, getting interested in the game and stuff like that, because I do love romance choices within RPGs. And I loved that this game had that. So it's kind of exciting to... Uh, to see how that's all going to play out in the end. Also, you get kind of a, a small little hub for yourself in act after Act 1 is over. And that is the spot that they are now going to start playing your character's theme song for you. Because they felt like you kind of needed to hear it a little bit more. And I believe something that I read is it might evolve a little bit with your decisions. Um, don't quote me on that. I thought I read that somewhere, but in their YouTube video that they posted, they didn't mention it. So I don't know if that's changed, but kind of keep that in mind. And then there is Sir Laura. Yeah. Sir Laura. He is, I literally have in my notes, Sir Laura and then a heart because uh, I'm already in love. He is a free a uh, little mini DLC that you get if you pre-order if you don't own DOS 2 already. Or if you are a PC player and you get the definitive edition, he is available to you uh, for free, of course. Um, and he's adorable. He's this little squirrel guy thing. And uh, I guess he's got his own little quest and this and that. And he is utterly adorable. In that YouTube video that I had mentioned, they do talk about Sir Laura more. Uh, but all you need to know is he's adorable and um, definitely worth <laughs> the price of admission. I am so excited to see where that goes. Uh, they did also mention that uh, the UI is getting an update and the journal is getting an update. So if this doesn't scream to you, definitive edition of DOS 2, I don't know what will at this point. I mean, everything from uh, some rebalancing of XP to adding a story mode to revamping fights, adding new fights, the tutorial's been expanded. I mean, uh, new voice work. There is so much coming in that it's going to feel like an entirely new experience. And I am so, so excited to finally dive in. And I know I mentioned this before, but is it August yet? Somebody please... Larian Studios, if you need beta testers and you're listening, you can send it to me. I'll apply. That's fine. Don't worry. I'll know life it again. Uh, let's not talk about how many hours I already have into the first game. Okay, guys? Okay. Yeah. And other than that, I think that uh, that covers everything I wanted to chitter chat with you guys about today as far as the DOS 2 Definitive Edition goes. If you have comments, questions, you want to talk to me about DOS 2 or video games or, you know, all that other good stuff, leave it down below in the comments or on social media. Or find me on Twitch. Oh my god, we Twitch now, guys. How crazy is that? But, I mean, seriously, I love hearing from you and getting to talk with you. So, find me, say hi, you know all that jazz. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. It has been a blast, as always. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!